Okay, so these are going to be a series of clips about uh, getting into keto, keto induction, because uh, keto sounds like a great idea, but it's often very hard to get into it. So I, I have uh, prepared a number of clips. Uh, most of them are on my phone. Uh, so uh, you'll see uh, various segments of uh, screen captures on my phone, how to use the car counter and so on. And um, um, this will uh, help you, I hope, get into keto. So first, uh, an overview. Keto is unlike any other nutritional plan you ever heard of. It is not like Paleo, Atkins, etc. Although there are points of uh, superficial uh, similarity between them. Um, because keto is all or nothing way of eating. It's like quantum, we'll see. It is an eating strategy that triggers a state of ketosis that is scientifically verifiable. Turns out that once you are into ketosis, you reap many benefits, but getting into it is quite challenging, which is why many more people are thinking of keto than actually doing keto. Uh, okay, so mainly there are four challenges. One, the scientific challenge. It's everything about keto is pretty scientific. So you have to count your carbs. You have to be like empirical about your eating. And then you can test your metabolic state with special strips. Also, there's a setup challenge because you need the right physical equipment and the apps. You need the weight uh, scales. You need the apps on your um, phone and I'll show you everything. Also, there's a physiological obstacle, the dreaded keto flu, because you'll get sick if you haven't done keto before, haven't done Atkins before, then you are liable to have a flu that can last from three to two, three days to two weeks or something. Also, there's a psychological obstacle because it's a radical change in your eating habits. And also, there may be some even religious obstacles because a lot of religions have carbs in as part of the ritual. For example, uh, drinking wine uh, or eating uh, all kinds of things made with carbs. So there's a lot to think about here. So keto in a nutshell is if you eat a very low amount of carbohydrates, carbs for short, you will shift your body into a new metabolic state where it will burn ketones, fat, instead of glucose, sugar. The keto entrance bar is, as we said, is both high, is high both physiologically, keto flu, and mentally because of all the calculations. And the series of short clips will take you through the steps of getting into keto. Uh, the setup will include a kitchen scales, a pocket magnifying glass, which I show you, Keto urine strips, there's a special strips you buy uh, at a pharmacy. Carb counter, that's the app I use. And two weeks of intense focus. You have to set aside two weeks during which you will focus on this. You will teach yourself to go into it. It's, you need to get ready. Find time to take bed rest because uh, you're going to get uh, the keto flu. You might get and if you're you're feeling this this is not something you like you enjoy, then imagine going into bariatric surgery, which is a lot of people are doing. That could take a good chunk of your life and health. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, and has many complications. So instead, go the keto way. Take time out for keto because this could solve your problems. And the keto quantum, it's twenty grams or less. I show you how to count them. And to achieve the quantum state of ketosis, you need at least less than 20 grams carbs per day. Some people get, get by on more carbs. But I'm uh, the, what I show you is the classic uh, thing that most people agree on, that under 20 grams, you're in keto. So if you want to play with the boundaries, you can play later. But I suggest you start with this orthodox keto. This is the orthodox keto way. And uh, here are some examples. 
For example, uh, in 100 grams of avocado, there's 2 grams of carbs. Uh, and 100 grams of zucchini, 3.5 grams. So you need 20 grams per day. So, for example, you can eat a kilo of avocado, and that will be okay. But only like 700 grams of zucchini. So you can play around with that. Fish has 0 grams. Meat has 0 grams. Olive oil, 0 grams. So... <laughs> You can see that there are many things with no grams that you can eat quite a lot of. Uh, compare that to, to carb-heavy stuff. Potatoes have 17 grams. And pasta has 45. And uh, gra uh, bread also has 45. So, uh, anyway. So, I will show you all of this uh, in the clips. Uh, there are a series of clips I uh, made at different times, and I'm going to concatenate them all together. So you can have this overview of keto induction. Uh, okay, so starting off, uh, I do recommend uh, this diet doctor. Uh, you can see the uh, website on top. And it gives you a wonderful... Uh, um, information about keto, what is keto, foods to eat, and so on. Uh, the most wonderful thing it has are these uh, beautiful uh, picaresque, or picturesque, you will see in a moment when I get there, food to avoid, and they have all the good foods that you can, like what to drink, what, oh, here it is. So you see, like vegetables, what are the good vegetables? You go into this, and you have a clear picture of uh, of the vegetables let's see if i can turn this around and um okay i understand i understand you see this is a beautiful drawing so it has everything you know like like spinach is one uh lettuce is two avocado is two you can see the carb this is just carb content per 100 grams it's all you need to know so like eggplant is three zucchini three tomatoes three cabbage and cauliflower these are your go-to vegetables and um, if you go to headbangers keto kitchen uh, this is you can give some wonderful recipes about cauliflower uh, and as he says there cauliflower is the new potato I really recommend it uh, and he has some wonderful recipes Anyway, you can see cauliflower is just three, then green beans is four, kale is four, broccoli four, and the peppers are three, four, and five, respectively. So, as you can see, imagine uh, you can eat like a kilo, a whole kilo of avocado, and that will bring you to your daily allowance of, of 20 grams. Or, or you can eat like 700 grams uh of tomato to bring you to your allowance and so on so it's there's quite a few vegetables that you can eat and uh, a nice respectable quantity of greens uh, so it's very nice um if we go back this website really really shows you oh i went out of it why did i go out of it uh anyway let's go back in it's dietdoctor.com uh, I recommend this as a wonderful starting point to get your bearings on uh, what you can eat and what not. Uh, I don't know why it's taking so long to load. Oh, come on. Okay, I won't bore you. You've seen the place. So just, uh, you know, go, go there. <laughs> Although you may not use it uh, later on, once you get used to the nutrition on uh, ketogenic, uh, is a weight, digital kitchen scale. Uh, I bought this Miller one, uh, as you can see here it is. It's very handy, you, just one tap, touch. It says hello, very uh, pleasant and uh, well-mannered. And then you have zero, and you can weigh anything uh, I think up to a kilo, maybe five kilos. Let's see what it says here. Uh, five kilos. So I never weighed five kilos here. You always weigh much, much lighter weights. So it's really great. 
uh, very compact and I take it around with me wherever I go. Um, so you can take it to a restaurant if you want, you can take it when you're dining out. You may be looking a bit weird using it, but <laughs> if that's the cost of keeping in ketosis, then that's the cost of keeping in ketosis. Okay. Okay, now say you want to eat something, uh, but uh, you're not sure how much you're going to eat. For example, I have this nice avocado, mini avocados. Avocado is fantastic, it's just 2 grams of carbs per 100 gram. But I don't know how much I'm going to eat. This is 132, but it's got the skin and it's got the uh, pit inside it. So what I do is I just, um, I weigh the the gross avocado, uh, the complete avocado, and then I'm going to eat what I want to eat, and what's left, you weigh again. And the balance is what you input into the carb counter. Inspecting labels. <coughs> Okay, this is an Alpro roasted almond and sweetened. This is I use instead of milk in my coffee. And before I bought it, I uh, used my magnifying glass to inspect it. As you see, carbohydrates, 0 0.1 G. However, look at this. This is per 100 milliliter. This is very important because some companies, especially American companies, have found some kind of loophole and they um, give you per portion instead of per 100 milliliters and they decide the portion. So I've seen diabetics happily guzzle down a sweet drink or sweet something because it said just uh, 0 0.1 gram of sugar, but it was a per serving and the serving was like, 10 milliliters so actually they were downing a sugar drink that was masked by marketing to seem as a dietetic drink anyway this is very important because proportion you can find something with very low carb and uh, which actually has a lot of carbs well here you are assured that it's 100 milliliters so it's uh, this is like 100 grams water. 100 grams of water is 100 milliliters of water. So I assume this is close to water, and uh, this drink is good for us. It will not uh, knock up our carb count significantly. <laughs> So now um, we look at the carb manager. This is the major tool for getting into keto. Uh, it helps you to analyze what you're eating and get a picture, a general picture of how many carbs are in everything you eat. So it's very important, at least for the first few weeks, that you use this tool. When you open it, the first thing you see will be the um, will be this wheel as you can see it says 20 grams net carbs that's because I set it this way I will show you in another video how to set it up but in a moment it's set up for 20 grams net carbs uh, per day which is uh, what I want to um, uh, eat no more now how do you check you do plus you write you press the plus here I'm pressing the plus in the right hand top right hand corner and it'll give you the various uh, items that you can um, input. So we had some celery sticks before. Celery. Uh, so you see it's following me. It's giving me some suggestions. Raw celery. Yeah, that's good. Raw celery. So we go into raw celery stocks. And then it gives us the option to say how much. So, if you remember, we weighed 35 grams. So, we go into, uh, into this, we write 35, and then it wasn't a cup, it was just the grams. So, you go into this, you write grams, and add today. So, now this has been added to your uh, wheel. 
Now, uh, if we get out of this, just go back. No, not close up, just OK. Oh, I closed the app by mistake. Let's go back in, it should have recorded it, uh, even though I closed the app. Uh, apologies for that little error, but it happens. Um, when we go back in, it should be showing that celery in the uh, wheel. We'll see in a moment. Yes, you see this little green thing? That's the celery we input. So it's it doesn't it's not even zero grams of twenty because it was less than a hundred grams. Uh, it also shows you how many calories. It was six calories. <laughs> Uh, and how much fiber was in it, and so on. So actually, it was very low, but it also shows you that you all had, you see, net calories. We're not interested in the calories, but it's nice to know. So that's the way. Uh, now I will show you how to set up carb manager so that it tracks 20 grams of carbs. Uh, there's a lot of confusing options, or uh, rather there's a lot of options that may be confusing or not, depending on who you are. But I will show you the most important thing, which is tracking exactly 20 grams of carbs. Because below 20 grams you will be in ketosis, above 20 grams you will not be in ketosis. Uh, so to flip your switch to ketosis, you need to uh, adjust this uh, app to track 20 grams. So um, go into the car manager. As you can see, mine is already set for 20 grams, but I'll show you how to do that. So uh, what you have to do is go into the three bar here and go down, down, down to get the settings. Now, there's all kinds of setting here. You have to set on uh, like net carbs and so on. There's a profile and all kinds of stuff that you will uh, uh, be able to adjust and give your weight, height, etc., your goals. But what's most important is to get to these macros, okay? Now, uh, once you get here, you have all kinds of stuff like how much you want to lose, what's your caloric, caloric budget, and so on. On the basis of this, once you have this, you get to this point. Now, there are three uh, meters here. One for fat, one for protein, and one for carbs. As you can see, mine is set for 20 grams carbs, 101 gram protein, and uh, 79 gram fat. Now, this is based on um, my caloric intake, but what's important here, because it really doesn't matter what your ultimate caloric intake will be. What's important is you tweak this properly. So look at this. If I shift my fat, less fat, look at the net carbs. The net carbs now show 37. If I tweak my net carbs, my fat changes, my protein changes, everything. If I tweak protein, they also change. I can have like this, like a lot of protein, 48% of my diet protein, 48% fat, and only 3% net carbs. That's not a good uh, way to go because your, that protein will also become a glucose in your blood and you will not be in ketosis. You need to set the fat as high as possible to achieve 20 grams. So if you do that, you see I'm only moving the fat, but this is changing the other values. So I reached that my value of 101 gram protein by setting 20 grams of net carbs through the fat balance. You see, the more fat, the less carbs, the less protein. So you get to the point where you have maximum fat for 20 grams of carbs. Now, ultimately, it doesn't really matter how much ultimate fat you will eat. It's preferable to eat as close as possible to 80%, but it could be less and a lot less protein too. You could be eating much less than your total allocated macros, like uh, say your allocated calories were 2,300, you will find yourself eating like 1,500 calories or, or, or just, you know, uh, 1,200 calories because you won't be feeling hungry. But what's important is you do not exceed the 20 grams of carbs. 
that is the major point here so you see it's very uh, vulnerable to changes so uh, you should set this through the fat so here it is I'm using the fat to set the carbs the fat carb balance that's the important thing so for me it's 79 percent fat gives 20 grams of net carbs for you it may be a, a slightly different balance but again use the fat uh ruler the flat the fat slider to set the carb slider and that's it once you have that then when you go back to my daily log you will see that you have 20 grab 20 grams net carbs left inside your wheel and that is what you are um, aiming for because that will help you track uh, your uh, intake so that you are in ketosis <laughs> Bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, ba. So now I'll show you how to use the carb manager to scan uh, food products so that you can save yourself the time of inputting the specific food. Also, it's very convenient when you have something that you just bought from a supermarket or something. So let's go um, into carb manager. Uh, wait for it to fire up. So, you see on the right hand corner at the top, you have this plus. So, we're going to add a food stuff here. Now, you have many options. Quick find my food scan. You're going to go for scan. So, now it says please place bar barcode in frame. So, I have here some John West mackerels that are supposed to be very nice uh, carb wise. I don't know about that taste. Probably good too. So, product scan. So, what now? Will it give it to me? Yes, you see, it inserted the whole can. It says mackerel filet. And now, uh, let's say that I will only eat uh, 100 grams of that, or I don't know how many grams in this can. Uh, 90 grams, drain weight. 125 grams, the full. So, probably the can is. Probably the whole can should stay. Okay, so I can say uh, add today for the whole can. I'm going to consume this whole can. And now, if you go back, you press the, the X on the left hand. Uh, you get out to find foods. You go back to your uh, carb counter. You see that no net carbs were added. But instead, we have 18 grams of protein and 18 grams of fat. It counted it and it put it here also. Mackerel filet. Let's try this with some uh, cucumbers. Let's see if it um, can identify them as well. Uh, let's see this product. Uh, it's uh, large cucumbers in brine. Let's go for this. Where is our... Here we are. Come on. Product scanned. That's nice. Food not found, sorry. So they don't have it in the database. So you can add food. They don't know this product. So name, so on and so forth. Let's just put, uh, this is called Kurzat uh, Yavne. Uh, How can we, maybe you can take a photograph of it. Hmm. Oh, I have no idea. Uh, I don't think I want to um, <laughs> go into this trouble, so I've gone out of this. So, you see, uh, some things are not in the database and you can't scan them, but some you can. This I'll just have to input uh, by hand. Um, this product uh, has some... Um, some uh, nutritional values, carbohydrates, 2 grams per 100 gram. So, no problem. 
uh, I can just um, I can just do um, cucumbers in brine. Let's go back. Come on. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna not gonna scan. What's this? Ah, we're back to the celery. Okay, get out of there. New food. You know, get out of find foods plus. So uh, what do I, what's it called? Cucumbers in brine. Cucumbers in brine. Uh, I wonder if it has any already. Yeah, but it has, yeah, you see, the Krakowia Maslowina cucumbers are also is two grams per. And this Krakow, so here it is. Kvutsat Yavne cucumbers in brine. These were the ones. They didn't have the, they didn't have the, uh, sorry. Uh, I have to load my battery. But here it is. So I'm going to eat 100 grams of this. And I'm going in grams. And uh, add today. So I'm gonna uh, and go out to foods. And here it is. You see, at lunch, I will have uh, 100 grams. Will give me two grams of uh, carbs. And you see, my carb counter is already beginning to fill out. But I ate very little carbs. Just 35 grams of celery and 100 grams of cucumbers with a little mackerel. Uh, which I haven't eaten yet, I've just demonstrated it to you, but that sounds like an interesting meal. Okay, so I'm going to show you now um, how to test that you are in ketosis. I bought this, this is like a, a dual tester, it tests both for glucose and for uh, keto, you see the glucose is the is the light blue and the keto is the pink. So what you do is uh, you take a sample of your urine, like half a glass or something, and you dip uh, the sticks. There are sticks inside. Here are the sticks. You see these sticks, they also have color on them. So you're looking at the second one, the second color, the pinker one, that has to go dark pink. The, the green one is not important, it's for glucose, you're not checking that. Although if you see you have a lot of glucose, you have a problem. Because keto, you should have no glucose at all. It's just the, the, the pink will go a darker pink. And then once you've done that, uh, it's like two seconds, you put it in the urine, then you check. And you see you should have a, a, at least that. You see this, this uh, shade of pink. But it, you could be darker, like in this or even that that dark. I've never I really been that dark only once, but this is, both these are good, they're both keto. It depends on the time of day, right in the morning you may have this one, and later in the day you may have that one, but the important is to, this will show you that you are in keto, and that's your scientific proof of the pudding, of the non-pudding, I should say. <laughs> Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -ba -ba. Okay, so you can easily use a piece of sliced cheese as a piece of pita or or tortilla. You see, I spread some white cream cheese over it and some camembert, which I bought, all very ketogenic. And now I can just fold it over. Fold it over like a tortilla and even dip it into a an aubergine salad here, which is just 2.5. Really useful um, food, uh, which is tofu, which is a lot of protein, very few carbs, and it's vegan. So it's really nice. It has a lot of fiber. I use it a lot. I find with eggs and maybe some cheese. Um, I'm going to add one here just for your demonstration. 
with the scanner because I bought one in England, which usually uh, should be in the database, hopefully. It's your, not, not some out of the way uh, product or something. Yes, you see, it identified it as original uh, tofu by clear spot and then 110 grams. And you see everything you add today and it's there. It's part of its. Um, it's now part of my foods, you see. Actually, I added it before uh, before I showed you. So it's added twice here, but actually, you can see this, and you can see the the impact on the on my uh, roulette, which is now four grams of carbs gone. Uh, just a few of them, uh, one gram only went to the tofu, uh, although a lot of uh, protein was in it. So actually you can track, uh, you can see that the calories and the grams are one beside the other and you notice that um, essentially I haven't eaten many calories uh, even though I've, um, and I, I've eaten a few grams of uh, carbs as well. So, and I'm feeling very satiated. So this is really something um, incredible about the keto way of life that you don't feel hungry and you eat a lot fewer calories and um, you have a lot more energy which is paradoxical but true